In this lesson we will tell you how to look and apply for your first job and how not to be afraid during the job interview. Most of the people at the beginning of their career paths start from working for someone else, even if they have a business idea themselves. It is a reasonable solution, the first years of adult life are full of things to learn and adapt. But first, you need to find the company and apply for a vacancy. Here we have some tips that might help you. Let's start from a job application. Remember to carefully read the job offer. It might seem ridiculous but it is a common mistake, some people apply for all jobs they see. Not paying attention to details like, city, requirements or work hours. Don't offer other conditions than the requirements are. Some people see the advertisement for a job in the office and offer their services as freelancers. Or a job is in regular hours and they offer their time in irregular, night hours. Sometimes it might work, but usually it is more like spam for recruiters. However, this is not always the case for job experience. Sometimes the requirement is three years. You have been working only for two? Give it a try if you think that your other qualities might be useful in this company. Just try to be realistic. Don't send an empty email. The recruitment process usually starts with an email with CV, cover letter or portfolio. Try to make a good first impression. Say hello, write a little bit about you and never send an empty email only with annexes uploaded. Talking about emails, remember to use a professional email address, the one you give to your potential employer should look serious and professional. You can create a Gmail account, or use any email provider that is respectable in your country. The first part should contain your first and last name. Remember the rules of professional email exchange. What should be the greeting sentence? What language to use? How to say goodbye properly? What is the savoir vivre in email exchange? We can't tell you, there are different rules in every country, but if you don't remember it from school make sure you make some research before sending the first one. Be flexible, if you are invited for a job interview, try to accept the day and hour that your recruiter suggested. If you can't, be reasonable with the counter proposals. If you are available only at nights or weekends you will look like you don't care. Use small files and accessible formats. If you need to send your portfolio, try to make it online or in a small file. 200 megabytes attachments will not be welcomed by the recruiter. Also, if you send your CV or cover letter use common and universal file format like PDF or JPG. Don't send files that require specific software to open. Microsoft Office, Photoshop, AutoCAD unless you are specifically asked for it. If you use these tips there is a chance you will be invited to meet your employer in person. There are some general rules how to behave on the job interview, you can easily find online. What to wear, how to shake a hand or what to say. These rules also depend on the country and the company you want to work for. Here we have some general hints that will apply to most of the workplaces. The most important one is, do research about your potential employer. At least the basic information about the company. How do they manage social media? What projects were they responsible for? What is their hiring and communication style? You also need to know what job you are applying for. What are the responsibilities for this position? And of course, think what your financial requirements are and why are you a good fit for this company. Talk to your friends, 
search information on Facebook groups or on LinkedIn. If you know your employer, think about yourself. Be prepared to talk about your strengths and weaknesses. Do it very carefully, you can even search for online tools that will help you. Try to name your features as specifically as you can. And be honest if you don't know something. Don't lie. If you talk about yourself, try to adapt what you say to the character of the company. It is not about lying. It is about emphasizing things about you that will be relevant to your employer. In big companies recruiters are often tired with dozens of the same candidates and boring, irrelevant information. If you did your homework and know what the company is looking for, you will know what it is about you that will make you a perfect employee. And the most obvious and the most important advice at the end, have a good attitude. They want to find a good employee as much as you want to find a job. Smile, be calm and open to other people, it sounds naive but usually works.